97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio. Yeah, Always. The bar started at about 8.30 a.m. according to That's the good. That's good. You can see the structures that have been engulfed by the fire, ravaged by the fire. The cause remains unknown. The fire has been broken. This evening, a while ago, and this is the extent of the damage. You can see the which structures that have been ravaged by the fire. We can report that the fire service has been here. We have seen about three fire tenders fully loaded with water that are trying to put out the fire. But there is still the need for more to come to help the people, the residents themselves here. Have been so, we are talking. So, we are talking. The time we are talking, some woman came there and tell us some place is burning. So, we should off our machines. So, we didn't hear you. So later on when we come, we see that the thing was burning high. And then we started yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, yes. we were able to extinguish this fire. And then um, we have been able to do that uh, within the shortest possible time. We received the call that's 10 minutes after our eight. Um, it took us the first tender to get there in four minutes. And uh, we were able to control the fire. And uh, within one and a half hours, the fire was broken. As you can see, despite um, the type of uh, combustible material that was in this fire, that was uh, inducing the spread of this fire, we were able to find it and extinguish the fire to the level that it is. Now that it's totally controlled, I don't think we have any problem. Do you know the cause? For it to be difficult for anybody to determine fires of this nature are so many possible factors that might uh, contribute to uh, this uh, fire. So we need to investigate. You talked about combustible materials. What kind of combustible materials can we find here? Everything in there uh, was combustible. Uh, looking at even the, the, the rules that they use in, in constructing these structures, uh, even the roofing, you look at it, they are all combustible. And you get into the room, the stuffing, chairs, the beds, the clothing, and all other things are all combustible. Nobody will determine how long those uh, roofs are being used in constructing. And then we also uh, suspect, looking at it. I, I saw a few people carry on their gas cylinders out of the place. Uh, those are other combustible substances and uh, gaseous and flammable uh, uh, issues that we should be talking about. So um, it is just uh, fortunate that the fire service was able to uh, confine this fire using five fire firefighting engines from the fire service. One from the military and two water tankers and one tank to the line. We try to ensure that this fire do not spread to other areas such as the people who are that people are living in the So I think the fire service should be for, for For the general public who are not very aware of what goes on in this area, can you give us a brief description of what goes on in Abuja? As the as the book holds. Well, um, it, it should not um, uh, take anybody uh, more than two minutes to determine what goes in here. Looking at the, the remains of the structures that are here, uh, it's a slum area, and you look at it, you realize that it has not met any fire safety uh, measures in here. It is combined with uh, stage and lorry parks combined with markets. So all these things, there is no segregation. So just imagine what goes in. Here.